Th this project's between Electricity Northwest and WWT, which is the Wildlife and Wetlands Trust. And, and we're looking at the most effective ways of preventing wildfire striking power lines. So it's been an ongoing problem over the last few years, especially with the pink, with the pink footed and hooper swan population rising, there's been an increase in collisions with power cables. And that's been especially evident around Martin Mere because we've got such a big population. We get up to 36,000 geese in the winter and also 2,500 swans. So we get a real big impact around Martin Mere. And so that's why it's really been based here because we are such a um, honey pot for all these birds coming into the site. The role of the bird diverter is to hang off the line and to reflect the light. So as the, as the swan's coming along at 25 or 30 feet, it's effectively eye level with the conductors. The conductors are very thin on power lines and they're quite hard to see. We find a lot of bird strikes are in the early hours of the morning or at dusk when the light conditions are, are low and the birds can't see the conductors as well. So the bird deflector really is to be as visible as possible. So the ones we're trialling here, uh, one called the Firefly, actually glows in the dark so uh, it helps the birds see them at, at dusk and, and at dawn and it also moves around in the wind as you can see it looks a little bit like bunting so it's much more visible to the birds you'll be able to identify the yeah the research will have quite a big impact on um, how electricity northwest put their power cables and especially where the deflectors are going to go because the work we're doing here is going to act as a guideline for uh, what's going to happen across the rest of the country. Um, as you may know, Electricity Northwest we sponsor over 50 research and development projects and this is one of those projects. Um, a lot of the research will be done by the Wildfowl and Wetlands Trust but also by the master students who will be working on it full time. The research is basically a behavioural study on the swans and geese. So in the morning the geese will be roosting at Martin Mere and they fly out to feeding areas around around the reserve. And I'm going to be there at the time when the swans are going from A to B. I'll be recording the direction of flight in relation to wind. Uh, I'll be recording the height that they're flying at and also other obstacles like trees and power lines and railway lines and if the geese react adversely to those, to those features. Um, the main beneficiaries um, from the project are not only the wildfowl themselves, um, but also our, our rural customers. So this can, you know, be quite, can be quite inconvenient to farmers in, in and rural communities to have their power going off due to swans hitting power lines. It's always important for companies such as Electricity Northwest to work in conjunction with the wildlife sector, especially when it's having an impact on the service they provide for the general public. We're a key part of the community and you know, we, t we take our role very seriously. Part of that is sponsoring research and helping some of the conservation bodies such as WWT in their role in, uh, in preserving wildlife in our area.